In this video, you will learn how easy it is to combine flour, water, salt, and yeast to produce amazing, delicious artisan bread. Hi, I'm Ron, and thanks for clicking on this video. Please take a moment to click the subscribe button and notification bell, as well as check out my other YouTube videos. This Easy Artisan Bread video demonstrates how easy it is to incorporate ingredients you probably already have in your kitchen to make delicious bread. For years, I have been baking sourdough bread nearly every day, but many people have indicated to me they are not willing to maintain a sourdough starter or they simply don't care for the taste of sourdough bread. And so I produced this video that uses a quarter teaspoon of yeast instead of sourdough starter, and the results are truly amazing. Okay then, let's make some bread. I begin by incorporating water, all-purpose flour, instant yeast, and salt. 70% hydration, meaning 7 parts of water to each 10 parts of flour, as measured by weight, is probably the most commonly used hydration. However, in this easy artisan bread recipe, I'm not weighing the ingredients, but rather I'm adding them by volume. But I estimate this dough to be approximately 87% hydration, which is a very wet dough. The dough has been mixed and sat on the kitchen counter overnight. I recommend the dough rest overnight between 12 and 24 hours. It's the middle of August and the temperature in my home is usually between 72 and 76 degrees. It's been 23 hours since I mixed the dough. It's time to prepare the dough for baking. Please note there has been no kneading, no stretch and fold, no coil fold, no lamination. The dough has simply been sitting on the kitchen counter overnight. I mentioned earlier, this is a very wet dough and I'm sprinkling a good amount of flour on my workbench.
Next, scrape the dough onto the workbench and as best you can, shape the dough into a ball. I think parchment paper works best for getting the wet dough into the proofing bowl. Cover the bowl and place in the fridge for one hour. While the dough is in the fridge, preheat your Dutch oven in the kitchen oven at 450 degrees. The dough has been in the fridge an hour. The Dutch oven has been preheating and the dough is ready to bake. These oven gloves are a must when handling a hot Dutch oven. I scored the dough with scissors and placed the Dutch oven in the 450 degree kitchen oven. After baking 30 minutes, I removed the bread from the Dutch oven, reduced the oven temperature to 400 degrees, and returned only the bread to the kitchen oven. The bread has finished baking. Now for the one hour wait before slicing. Words cannot describe how ecstatic I am about this bread. The crumb is soft and tender, the crust has just the right amount of chewiness. I baked the bread for 30 minutes at 450 degrees, then 12 minutes at 400 degrees. When I checked the internal temperature, it was only 194 degrees, and I like it to be over 200 degrees. Also, the taste is a bit flat. I think I need to add more salt, from one teaspoon to one and a half teaspoons. I use fine sea salt in my baking. If you use table salt, you may have to adjust the amount of salt you use, but I would start with one and a half teaspoon. I'm going to quickly mix another batch of dough, let it sit on the kitchen counter overnight, and bake tomorrow with these adjustments to salt and cooking time.
Isn't that bread beautiful? It's time to check the internal temperature. I'm looking for something 200 degrees or higher. And it's 202. Perfect. After waiting an hour, I sliced and tasted this bread. It was so delicious. Thanks again for watching. I hope you give this recipe a try.